Hello, mga kapatid. Welcome to the online Elib gathering. Sister Luli and I would like to extend our warmest regards to you and your families. Kami naman ay doing well by God's grace. We are still in home quarantine, but we feel the grace and blessing of the Lord. I know that we are still in the midst of the pandemic, which has brought so much distress and trouble to many. But I am here to encourage you with the good news of the Lord. In Psalm 46, verses 2 and 3, the psalmist wrote, God is our refuge and our strength, an ever-present help in distress. Thus we do not fear to earth be shaken. Ang Diyos ang lakas natin at kanlungan at handang saklolo kung may kaguluhan. Di dapat matakot mundo'y mayanigman. Awit 46, 1 at 2. Though the whole world is in crisis, buong mundo man ay mayanig, we have a God <laughs> who is our ever-present help. Si Lord ang ating handang saklolo sa anumang sakunang dinaranas natin. Let us not forget to call on the Lord, our ever-present help, and ask Him for help, healing, or deliverance. Jesus is Savior. He will never forsake nor abandon us. Dumulog tayo kay Jesus, ang ating mapagmahal na tagapagligtas. At tiyak na ililigtas niya tayo ayon sa kanyang pangako. In Jesus' name, Amen. Good evening, brothers and sisters. I am Kian Gergonio and welcome to our weekly online email gathering. I hope that all of you are safe and sound. This was a panahon, no? Um, this week officially marks one year since the lockdown started. A lot of things changed and we had to adopt, but we're still here, thriving with God's grace. Praise the Lord! And now, I hope you're excited for another night of God's Word and Worship. Let us now put ourselves in the presence of the Lord in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit.
Lord, thank you for your mercy and undying love. We know that we are not worthy, but you continue to shower us with your compassion and mercy. Thank you for your unending grace. Lord, we ask that you fill uh, every one of us tonight with your spirit. Touch our hearts so that we can become teachable and everyone may be blessed tonight. In Jesus' name. And now, let us welcome the teacher of the word tonight, full-time servant of the Lord, Sister Laurie Lina. Hello everyone! Very important ang pag-usapan natin ngayon. Promises to claim while waiting for the Lord. And uh, very specifically, promises tungkol sa pamilya. Promises about family. Promises are very important. Laging kinakailangan umandar yung ating faith so that we can rely on the promises of the Lord as it is stated in the Word of God. Kinakailangan umaasa tayo sa mga pangako ng Diyos. Sapagkat sabi nga sa Psalm 12 verse 7, The promises of the Lord are sure. Silver refined in a crucible Silver purified seven times. Sabi sa Tagalog, ang mga pangako ni Yahweh ay maaasahan. Katulad nila'y pilak na lantay, tinunaw sa hurnong hinukay, pitong beses na pinadalisay. Pitong beses na pinadalisay. Ibig sabihin, seven times, in and out, ilinalagay sa apoy, ibinubuhas, inilalagay sa apoy para purong-purong pilak lamang ang lalabas. Ganito rin ang ginagawa sa ginto. At ang sinasabi dito, napakadalisay, napakatotoo, napakasigurado na kapag may binitawang pangako ang Panginoon for us, hindi maaaring hindi ito mangyayari. The promises of the Lord are sure. At kung tayo'y naniniwala sa Kanya at naniniwala sa Kanyang salita, kinakailangan matatag tayo dyan. Hindi tayo nangangamba, totoo kaya yun o hindi. Pero alam mo yung mga promises ng Lord, may kalakip yan eh. Di ba? Meron siyang ipinapangako kung, ano yung kung? Kung tayo ay mananatili sa kanyang kariyan. Kung tayo ay mabubuhay justly, sinabi. Kung sinusundan natin ang kanyang mga commandments. Pero malagay itong maintindihan dahil ang kalagayan ng ating buhay spiritual ay may epekto sa ating, sa kaligtasan ng ating mga anak. Ito bilang magulang. 
di ba? Pero ganun din ano, ang kaligtasan halimbawa ng ating ipinapanalangin kung asawa natin o iba pang uh, kamag-anak o kung magulang natin, our parents, ganun din. The promises are as firm but merong uh, hinihiling sa atin that we live just lives that we obey the commandments at lahat yung mga yan. Ngayon, tingnan natin ano. Sa Exodus 20, part of verse 5 to verse 6, nandyan din ang pangako ng Panginoon, ang katibayan ng pangako niya. Sabi niya, I show love down to the thousandth generation of those who love me and keep my commandments. Ipinadaram ako ang aking pag-ibig sa libu-libong salin lahi ng mga umiibig sa akin at tumutupad sa aking mga kautusan. Libu-libong salin lahi. Hindi lamang ako, bilang aking mga anak, mga apo, mga apo, apo sa tuhod, apo sa talim, talampakan, apo, ko sa, apo sa ikailang generation. Sabi, a thousandth generation. Hindi natin mabibilang ang blessing na umaabot sa ating mga salin lahi in the generations after us na nakabatay sa ating faith, sa ating pananalig, sa ating paniwala na totoo nga ang mga pangako ng Panginoon. Mahal natin siya at sinusunod natin ang kanyang mga kautusan. We obey and live His commandments. So, ang tibay niyan eh. Pero magpatuloy tayo. Mahalaga din na ang uh, ating pagturing sa ating pamilya, sa ating pagturing sa kanila, syempre, they are a blessing. Sabi nga sa Psalm 127 in verse 3, at ito very specific sa mga anak, sabi, Certainly, sons are a gift from the Lord, the fruit of the womb, a reward. Kaloob nga ni Yahweh itong ating mga anak, ang ganitong mga supling, pagpapalang, mayroong galak. So, dapat ang pagturing natin sa ating mga family members, whether children or ang honor na ibinibigay natin sa ating mga magulang, paniniwalang sila ay mga kaloob ng Diyos at gantimpala a reward, a blessing for us. Hindi lamang tinuturing, naku, napakalaking trabaho, napakaperwisyo, yung mga ganyan bang pagbitaw ng bibig. Hindi dapat tayo umabot doon. O kaya hindi na lang ang laging inaabalan, pinag-aabalan natin sa ating mga anak. Okay ba sweldo nila? Maganda ba yung bahay nila? Okay ba yung kinikita nila? Yung mga ganyan bang usapan ng mga concerns ng mundo. But let me go ahead ano, sa Psalm 127, sa verse 1 and 2. Bago pinag-usapan kung paano blessing yung pamilya. Sabi din dyan, unless the Lord build the house, they labor in vain who build. Unless the Lord guard the city, in vain does the guard keep watch. It is vain for you to rise early and put off your rest at night, to eat bread earned by hard toil. All this God gives to His beloved in sleep. Ang sinasabi dito, ang pinakamahalaga ay ang pundasyon ng ating pamilya, ng ating tahanan. At hindi lamang yung building, kundi ang bawat miyembro ng, pa, ng pamilya ay ang Panginoon unless the Lord builds the house. Hindi ba? Kahit anong pagtatrabaho natin, kung hindi si Lord ang inuna natin inilapit sa ating pamilya at kinikilala na natin na siya ang siyang um, magtatatag at magbubuo ng ating pamilya, mahirapan tayo, self-will na yan. Unless the Lord guard the city, in vain does the guard keep watch. Kinakailangan naniniwala na tayo na uh, si Lord ang namamahala in charge of our family and our family members. Hindi tayo. Sabi pa, it's vain for you to rise early and put off rest. Walang ha- maliit ang halaga ng ating pagpupuyat at kung ano pa yung ginagawa natin para sa ating pamilya, lalong-lalo na yung hard-earned bread na sinasabi, by toil. Sabi niya, si Lord, kahit natutulog tayo, binebless tayo. At kasama sa blessing na yan, yung proteksyon ng pamilya, pag-aalaga niya sa ating mga family members, anong hinihiling lang sa atin? Na tayo ay maging masunurin sa kanya at yung buhay natin ay sinasabuhay natin ayon sa ating pagkakaintindi ng 
ng pinapagawa niya sa atin. So, importante that while we lift our family to the Lord, tayo mismo, mahalaga sa atin at naintindihan natin, the Lord is in charge of our family. The Lord guards our family and the Lord provides for our family. Totoo nga ang mga promises ni Lord, pero mahalaga din naintindihan natin ang nangunguna at siyang namamahala at nag-aalaga ng ating pamilya higit sa ating mga efforts ay ang Panginoon. So, hindi tayo masyadong yung mapusok ba? Self-willed, kung ano nung ginagawa natin. Iniisip natin, dadalin natin sa Panginoon yung ating family members. E baka tayo pa yung nakaka-block sa way ng kanilang paglapit. So, mahalaga that we are growing in the Lord, that we are conscious the Lord is in charge. Ngayon, claim the promises of the Lord about family. Number one na dyan, yung sa Acts chapter 16, verse 31. Believe in the Lord Jesus and you and your household will be saved. Sumampalataya ka sa Panginoong Jesus at maliligtas ka, ikaw at ang iyong sambahayan, the entire household. You, anong, ano yung if and but yan? Si Lord, siya yung magsasave ng entire household. Ano ibig sabihin ng save? Ang bawat isang miyembro ng family ay mapapasa ilalim ka sa Panginoon at papasok sa kanyang kaharian. Napakahalaga na ito kasi hinihintay na natin ang pagdating ni Lord. Pero, anong first part? Believe in the Lord Jesus. Tayo na nakakaalam at may pananampalataya, dapat hindi nayayanig yung pananampalataya niyan. We believe in the Lord Jesus. Yun yung parte natin. And you and your household will be saved. Kaninang parte yun? Kay Lord. So, the Lord will save we believe. So, kasama yan eh, because if you believe, di alam mo yung mga promises totoo. And on our part, we endeavor to grow in the Lord. Laging inisip natin kung paano tayo lalago sa ating pananampalataya at sa ating buhay at nang nagagawa natin yung mga pinagagawa ni Lord. So, napakahalagang promise yan. Number one promise. Naku, yan yung kinlame. Do you know our family Nung simula namin sa ilim, dalawa, tatlo lamang kaming magkakapatid, every morning at 7 o'clock, tatlo kami, ipinagdadasal namin ang bawat membro ng aming pamilya. Labing isa kaming magkakapatid, pati ang aming mga, espo, mga asawa namin at mga anak. And within 13 months, 13 months, I remember, every member of our family, mother, brothers and sisters, spouses, lahat ay nagkaroon ng pagkakataon, mag, uh, mag-join ng isang pathways, at magkaroon na, magsimula ng buhay sa Panginoon. So, this is a promise that really, really works. Ngayon, ang importante siyempre yung believe in the Lord Jesus para yung second half, mag- maganap. Okay? Ang isa pang napakagandang promise sa Proverbs 11 verse 21, si Sister Luli napakasipag ang kanyang pag-remind sa amin dito. Proverbs 11 verse 21 sabi, Be assured, the wicked shall not go unpunished, but the offspring of the just shall escape. Ang masamang tao ay walang pagsalang parurusahan, syempre. Ngunit ang binhi ng matuwid ay maliligtas. Sino yung binhi na pinag-uusapan? The offspring of the just, yung ating mga anak na anuman ang kalagayan nila in terms of faith, andyan yung pangako na so long as tayo, we live just lives. Ibig sabihin yung buhay natin personal ay ang naaayon sa kalooban at salita ng Diyos. Isinasabuhay natin yung ating pananampalataya. Ang promise ni Lord, yung ating mga anak will be saved. Kahit sa kaduluduluhan, bahala si Lord kung papaano niya ay mayayakap kumbaga at maililigtas eh, ang, ang ating mga anak. So, very important itong promise na ito para sa mga magulang. Sabi din sa Jeremiah ito, yung mga 
at may, uh, ang lungkot-lungkot at iniiyakan si Lord para sa kanilang mga family members, lalo na yung mga away from the Lord. Pero sabi sa Jeremiah chapter 31 in verses 16 to 17, sabi, Seize your cries of weeping. Tama na, tahan na. Hold back your tears. There is compensation for your labor. They shall return from the enemy's land. There is hope for your future. Your children shall return to their own territory. Sabi nga ni Lord, Tana, tama na yung pagluluha. Gagantimpalaan ko na ang inyong mga ginawa. Ano yung mga ginawa natin? Pagsunod kay Lord. Paglilinis sa ating buhay. Pag, uh, pagsunod sa mga commandments, yung naging matinu na yung buhay natin, at ay nagsisikap na paularin pa yung ating buhay spiritual. Sabi ni Lord, gagantimpalaan ko ang inyong mga ginawa. Babalik sila, yung ating mga anak, mula sa lupain ng kaaway, sino yung kaaway? Ang demonyo. May pag-asa sa hinaharap, sabi ni Yahweh, magbabalik sa sariling bayan ang inyong mga anak. Mga magulang, kahit wala ka, hindi nyo kasama ang inyong mga anak. Ito, the promises are sure. Isaiah chapter 48 verse 19, sabi dyan, Your descendants like the sand, the offspring of your loins like its grains, their name shall never be cut off or blotted out from my presence. Napakaganda sa Tagalog, ang sabi, ang iyong lahi, ay magiging sindami sana ng buhangin sa dagat at tinitiyak kong hindi sila mapapahamak. Ano pang kapahamakan ang higit pa sana ang kanilang buhay ay mapasa demonyo. Siyempre gusto natin maligtas sila lalong-lalo na sa panahon ng pagdating ni, ni, ni Lord. Pero ayan, andyan ang promise ni Lord eh. So mahalaga yon that we live just lives, the Lord will do His part as a blessing to us. Napaka-powerful eh, kung iniisip mo. Yung buhay natin, na bless na tayo kasi we are in the Lord. Pero higit pa dyan, hindi lang tayo na bless yung ating mga anak, yung ating mga apo, yung ating mga apo sa, sa tuhod, yung ating mga apo sa talampakan. The blessings are theirs. Kung kaya inabot ang blessing sa atin mula pa kay Abraham. Yung faith ni Abraham was so Well, blessed by the Lord hanggang umabot na sa atin na tayo ay yung mga, kumbaga, naging tagapagmana kay Abraham dahil kay Jesus. So, ganun katindi ang promise ni Lord. Para do sa mga parents na hindi, hindi nila maabot ang kanilang mga anak, hindi nila maturuan, maaring malay, malayo o may di pagkakaintindihan o talagang may sarili na silang buhay, ang promise naman sa Isaiah 54 verse 13, All your children shall be taught by the Lord and great shall be the peace of your children. Ako mismo ang magtuturo sa inyong mga anak at sila'y magiging payapa at uunlad ang buhay. Again, kasama yan katulad ng Psalm 127, kinikilala natin na si Lord ang siyang in charge sa buhay hindi lamang atin, kundi ating mga anak at mga minamahal sa buhay. Kinakailangan lamang ay i-turn over natin sila kay Lord, si Lord ang in-charge. Pero, andyan yung mga promises na pwede nating i-claim in our times of prayer. Confident, naniniwala tayo na si Lord gagawin niya ang promise niya kahit na parang nasa bingit na tayo, nasa kaduluduluhan na ng panahon. But above all, I think it is important to keep an attitude of joy while we're waiting for the Lord's promises to come to pass. Sabi nga sa Philippians 4, from verse 4, sabi, Rejoice in the Lord always. I shall say it again, rejoice. Your kindness should be known to all. The Lord is near. Have no anxiety at all. Anong anxiety? Yung nagkakaba tayo? Ano kaya ang ka- nagiging kinabukasan ng ating mga anak? Eh sabi, no, don't worry. Huwag nang umiyak. Have no anxiety at all. In everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God. 
then the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Claim on His promises, knowing that for sure, even as nararamdaman natin na darating na si Lord, andyan na lahat ng signs of the times. Ngayon yung panahon na hindi tayo dapat anxious. We are among those who are filled with joy and eagerly awaiting the coming of the Lord because we are certain that His promises are sure. He will take care of everything. He will take care of our family. Thank you, Sister Lori, for that very inspiring teaching. I hope that we are all blessed by God's Word tonight. Elim Community's vision is to spread the good news to the ends of the earth. If you want to be a part of this work of evangelization, please give your tithes, love offerings, and donations to Springs Foundation Incorporated. BPI Kamuning Branch Account Number 3141-066756 or BDO Kamuning Branch Account Number 115-801-5470 Please email a screenshot or a copy of your deposit slip to mavicargamosa at gmail.com We pray for all those who gave their tithes and love offerings. May the Lord bless you a hundredfold for your generosity. In Jesus' name, Amen. Prayer to the Lady of Ilim O dear Mary, Lady of Ilim, sweet and pure, pray that your Son Jesus will, to innocence and holiness restore, the hearts and minds of long-lost souls. Pray that the seed of glad tidings, sown in our hearts, will steer us to great hope, faith, and love. Pray for the vision and intentions of community and of the Church, that with the Lord's watchful care and generous provisions, they shall all be. Pray that the polluted world and all institutions will, from a powerful outpouring of the latter rain, experience the blessings of fresh living water, a renewal of the Holy Spirit and healing of our land and of all nations. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Elim Missions Prayer Lord, I make myself available for the Ministry of Missionary Evangelization. On my knees or in the mission field, within our borders or on foreign soil, for a single soul or for the multitudes. Empower me for abundant soul winning. By your Spirit, make me an instrument of your love and mercy, a witness bold and unashamed, and an inspiring bearer of the good news. Send us the laborers, technology, and resources to reach the world. Help us break barriers, overcome obstacles, and penetrate new territories that all the peoples of the earth me know that you are God and there is no other. And to all those who reach, Lord, raise them up to become your true disciples. Here I am, Lord. Send me. In Jesus' name, Amen. Oratio Imperata Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by our healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick, 
with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Lord, nagpapasalamat kami na hindi mo lamang kami inaalagaan, ngunit pati ang aming pamilya. And we lift them up to you, we surrender them to you in every way. Tuluyan kami maghihintay sa iyong pagdating at kami maghihintay na may galak at may pananampalataya at pag-asa na ang bawat promise mo ay totoo. At gagawin mo ang lahat, ililigkas mo ang kabuuan ng aming pamilya. We believe in the Lord Jesus and our entire household. We and the entire household will be saved. And we claim this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining us tonight, brothers and sisters. We hope to see you all again next week. God bless and stay safe. Goodbye! Oh, mm-hmm.